Dear Dr. Lanterman Aaron, Greetings for the day. This is a formal invitation to join us as an editorial board member of the Annals of Urology. Annals of Urology is an open access, peer reviewed scholarly journal that considers articles on yada, 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 looking at your renowned and excellent scientific profile in the field of Annals of Urology, we are pleased to invite you to join our network of professional researchers as an editorial board member. It would be an honor and a wonderful opportunity to work with you. To confirm your willingness to be a part of the editorial board for the journal, kindly send a copy of your latest CV and research interest keywords. We are looking forward to a positive reply. Now, Longtime viewers of my Lantertronics channel will note that I often begin my videos by saying I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. I am not a professor of medicine of any sort. And a perusal of my publications will reveal a dearth of papers on the topic of urology. Here's the webpage for Annals of Urology, published by Directive Publications. Now, the fact that they were willing to spam me with an invitation to be on their editorial board doesn't mean that these papers are necessarily bad, but it certainly means that they're suspect. And to be clear, even top-tier journals sometimes get things wrong. And it's possible that the email I got isn't even from Directive Publications. It could be some other scammer. The website has a .org address. Whereas the email I got came from a .info address, and the reply to email is missing the second I in directive. But even if I ignore the email, I found several other dubious things. Directive Publications has a journal called The Annals of Internal Medicine that appears to be spoofing Annals of Internal Medicine published by the American College of Physicians. Directive Publications also has a journal called the British Journal of Sports Medicine, and the folks who publish something called British Journal of Sports Medicine without the the seem to be pretty put out about that. And at this point, it would not shock you to learn that there are journals called Journal of Affective Disorders, European Journal of Cancer, and Clinical Lung Cancer without having the word the in front. The Clinical Lung Cancer is a pretty odd title for a journal. Publishers like this are often called predatory publishers, but I don't like that term because it implies that publishers like Oxford University Press and Wiley and Taylor and & Francis and Elsevier aren't predatory, and they absolutely are predatory. I prefer to use the term deceptive publisher.